Okay. Dave Goldwig graduated class of 69, and last night I was there for the reunion. We had, I think, 58 there. We had 207 in our graduating class, and I believe 31 have passed away, so it's pretty good to have 659 there out of, you know, 176. So we had a good time there. You can see the people we hadn't seen. People, some of them haven't been back since they graduated, so it was good. Wow. And it's just interesting catching up with where people are and what they're doing in their life. And it's encouraging to see some people still being very active in what they're doing. Do you, uh, did, was there somebody that you hadn't seen for a long time that it was really fun for you to see? Something that stands out? Well, what Greg Orion did last night was really kind of neat. He went ahead and made a holders, wine holders for everybody in the class and gave one to every family. Wow. So that was, that was really neat. Hand, he's got them crafted with his name on them. Okay. Every single family. So that was just kind of neat. With Rick was in our band and played drums, so it was kind of neat to see what happened okay. over the years. All right. So I enjoyed seeing that. Plus a lot of others we hadn't seen for a number of years. Okay. I, I come every five years, so I usually see people. But I know I talked to one gal who had not been there since for 50 years. So wow. Good to see that. Okay. Yep. Uh, Elmer Heinches. Did you see and talk to Elmer? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, when I I got there. Um, you guys started at 6 o'clock, right. and we, you were out at the Grand River Cellars Cellar, right. uh, Winery, which if you're not familiar, that's on the west side of Route 528, almost on the border of Madison and Thompson. Under the, under the high wire, the main wire. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that's that. The, that's the easiest way to identify it. Oh. That's where the major wires are, just above that. Okay, okay. It's easy to identify. So it started at 6, you had dip, you had cocktail hour from 6 to 7. And we had dinner. Now, I heard nobody drank any cocktails. Is that true? That's not true. That's not true? <laughs> okay. I heard that everybody just had milk and, like, some diet coke or something. That's not, not true. Not true, okay. Uh, so that rumor was not true. I had water, but others did not. There you go. Good for you. <laughs> um, so then you had dinner from uh, 7 to 8? 7 to 8 or 8.30. Yeah. And then I wasn't allowed to come in the room because it was small. And we didn't want to overcrowd. So I went out to the bar and talked to a few people out there. And then about 8.30 I wandered in. And I was wandering around. I had heard Elmer Heinches was here. And it was really funny because uh, it was a controversy. Was Elmer there? About half the people said yes. About half the people said no. And so I'm, I spent a half an hour looking for my old neighbor, Elmer. Did you find him? I never found him. He left early. Oh, okay. So, uh, who was your class president? Dave Bennett, I believe. Dave Bennett? Yes, he was w there. Was he there? Yes, he was Okay, there. all right. And uh, uh, was there more men than women there? Did you, did you even notice that? I think it was pretty pretty well balanced. Okay, no okay. Surprise. Okay. Well and and uh, so I, it looked like everybody was having a good time. Was, at this point in life, you're not trying to impress anybody. Right. We're just all happy we're still there and we can share with people. Yeah. At five or ten, I saw people trying to impress people. Yeah. At fifty, you're still above ground, sucking air. We're happy you're here. Yeah. Yeah. And sharing together. So it really is, time is a leveler. Time kind of takes care of some of the ups and downs of people's opinions of themselves. I appreciated that. So who, who else was there that you predict? You know, like, no one will be offended if you leave them out, but just maybe people you haven't seen for a while, or people who had an interesting story to tell. Um, so Mike Stewart, I remember seeing him for quite a while. So Mike Stewart was there, and Steve Gloss and his wife, too. So I saw a number that were playing in the band with us. That was encouraging to see those people there. Okay. And some are still playing. So I, I played until a few years ago, but... Without some particular event to play for, it's kind of hard to keep on playing. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, it's like just shooting hoops in the backyard, right? It's not quite <laughs> as much fun as playing somebody. That's true. That's true. So what, what else do you have to relate to the people from the class of 69? I would say stay, stay involved, stay serving other people. I still work because I enjoy teaching. And I observe from my parents and also my wife's parents, those that stay more active, they live longer, much healthier life than just sitting around and 
yeah. watching TV. What are you teaching and what, and what are you doing? I teach accounting at Spring Arbor University. At which university? Spring Arbor. It's in Spring Arbor, Michigan, near, okay. near Jackson. Okay. I teach 11 to 14 accounting classes, so I get to know the students quite well. Okay. Have an impact in their lives. And because I get the summer off and Christmas off, I will continue to teach as long as I can. Very good. If you enjoy what you're doing with it, now financially we could retire, but I enjoy what I'm doing, so we need to stay active. Yep. And you stay active and serve other people, because it gives a meaning to life versus just serving yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm still teaching also, so uh, so I, I know what you're saying. Um, and I don't have to do it either. Um, and, and I don't know how much longer I'll do it. I'll do it as long as... It's fun. Yeah. As long yeah. as you enjoy yeah. it. Now, where, where are you living in Michigan? Jackson, or either the Spring Arbor near Jackson. Jackson was one time known as the biggest prison under one roof in the world. Oh. And they broke it up after the riots back in the 80s. But it's still, we have a pretty good sized prison population. Um, my daughter lives in Mason. Okay, just north of there about yeah. 30 miles. Okay. Yeah. And uh, when we're coming up to there, there is on one of the highways, and I don't remember them that well, there's one of the highways that warns you don't pick up anybody. Yeah. Is that the prison you're yes, talking it is. about? Yes, it is. Okay, what's the name of that prison? Southern Michigan Prison. Okay. All Southern right. Michigan Prison. All right. And so how long have you been in Michigan? 27 years. 27 years. And so you taught at the university? I was teaching part-time for the first six years and in charge of all of our facilities. Okay. And then I shifted over teaching full-time and just part-time in the business area since the last 21 years. I see. I really enjoy the fall pointing out that there's a certain team that plays from Ohio. Both my brothers happen to be Ohio State graduates. And so I point out early in the school year that there'll be something written on the board on two Monday mornings. It'll either be red or green, and later on either red or blue. And we've been using a lot of red pen. And I hope to continue using a lot of red pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I get up to Michigan not often enough, but I get up to Michigan way more often than I get to Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> so I, when I'm up there in Mason and surrounding areas, I see the passion for uh, they? for the Spartans. Oh, yes. And uh, so I, I've got to admit that I'm probably more of a Spartan fan than I am a Buckeye fan. And just because, you know, I don't really care. I didn't go to Ohio State, so I'm not a big Ohio State fan. But because I'm up there and I see the passion that people have. They do have a passion. It just kind of, and it, everybody has a passion everywhere, That's you know. Uh, I mean, even people down in Youngstown love the Penguins, you know. <laughs> Uh, the smaller scale football, sure. but they, they love their penguins sure. now. So it's, you know, it's, it's just fun to see people it's having good we're, fun. It's good we're not all the same. Yeah. If we're all the same, it'd be pretty boring. It would be. It would be. Tell I mean, so people, you're married, you agree on everything, one of you is not necessary. Yeah. And yeah. that's not usually a problem, I know. Yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> all right. Anything else that you can uh, relate to us from the... From the reunion last. Time. Hope to see everybody back in five years. Yeah, I couldn't believe that you guys actually asked me to come, but uh, you know, you, you guys got to remember, people will judge you by who you hang out with. Oh dear. So. And then you as you're hanging out with me, you're in trouble. Yeah, I don't know who's in trouble here, but <laughs> one of us is for sure. Probably both of us. So I, I will relay one one um, uh, story. Um, while I was looking for Elmer, I was making the rounds of the tables, and I was, I was, I gotta admit, I was preoccupied to find Elmer because he was my neighbor when we were kids. So I'm looking around, and then a few people recognize me, and at one point a guy says, "Do you remember who I am?" And I knew I knew him, but I couldn't, couldn't put my, put my finger on it. Sure. And it was Chet Godzilla. Oh yes, Chester. And what? What floored me... He's a little larger than he used to be. No, that's not what floored me. <laughs> what floored me was I had heard he passed away. Really? It was almost like I saw a ghost. Oh, dear. I don't know what or what made me think he passed away. Uh, but I almost couldn't get words out of my mouth for a while. I said, well, but, but, you know, and it was kind of, kind of strange. Yes. Um, I have a unique situation because my sister-in-law is also in our class. My brother was a class behind us, and he was the one in the wheelchair. He's been, he's had, had MS since he was in his early 20s. Yes, yes. He's still doing well. Yeah, he is. And stays very active. So yep, I talked to him. To I talked to him last. Yeah. He's not here tonight. Right? Yes, he is. Oh, he is yes, here he's tonight. Here tonight. I yes. just haven't seen yeah. him. 
But uh, yeah, I talked to him last night. Always good to see him. Yes. And uh, I, I think I remember Roger. The yeah, best. Roger was yeah. 72. Yeah, because he was closest right, to my, yeah. my class. But I remember one more pretty, pretty plus, well. Plus, Roger lives here. He's lived here ever since he graduated. Oh, okay. So it's easier to get to know someone as well. And where, where's Wendell at? Wendell's in Richmond, Virginia. Oh, okay. Okay. In Richmond, Virginia. Okay. So. I've forgotten that. We, the three of us haven't gotten together for five years. So. Oh, no kidding. So we haven't gotten together. Just, it was five years ago we had a reunion. It had to be the same year we got together. So okay. it's kind of to be together. So, so what's your plan going forward? Are you headed home then tomorrow? We head home tomorrow, yeah. Okay. So. And are, do you have a summer off? I have a summer off. Okay. Which we we'll started school in about three or four weeks, so we'll yeah. be ready. Yeah. So we, we've taught a class, and the county doesn't change. So teaching is much easier than it was that first year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've been real busy with the teaching too. It's a uh, it's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. You start New Year with fresh en energy. And by the end of the year, you're ready for another break. <laughs> well, the good thing with the college class is the kids are paying to be there, and uh, if they don't want to come. They don't come. They don't. Yeah. And they get what they want. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. have to babysit. Yeah. Well, you have to babysit. I don't. Have to yeah. Babysit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> So, very good. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care.